Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dave again. Uh, time for another painting, how about it? Uh, once again I am painting in my uh, Canson Mixed Media 9x12 tablet. Uh, you can actually see the little scuff marks in the lower left hand corner from where some paint got on from the last painting, the bison that I did. But I'm just going to paint over it. So I'm starting off by putting down uh, the background for this picture. Um, I started off with some Deco Art Yellow Green. I mixed in with it some uh, Woodland Green by Americana. Just dabbing it on there. Uh, the background is kind of out of focus, so I'm just trying to get a uh, background that's kind of blurry. I'm going to try to uh, melt all these colors together to try to get a little, uh, make it uniform. I'm just putting in some uh, a mix of soft black and burnt umber to uh, just get a couple, there's a couple shadow spots in the background. Just trying to get those highlighted. Now I'm just trying to brush all these little puffs together to smooth out the background. That brown, or the burnt umber, uh, really darkened it up to, a little bit too much to my liking, so I went in with some white, and then I had to go back in with some more uh, yellow green to try to brighten it back up again. Now I'm just trying to fill in the, the white bare spots that I left uh, behind from all the dabbing. Here I'm going in with some burnt umber to make the little perch that uh, I'm painting a bird here. If I mean you know by the by the uh, thumbnail, a blue jay, and he's standing on a little perch, a piece of wood. So I'm going in and trying to get that piece of wood with some burnt umber. Put some white. The the green uh, was showing up through the background, so I went in with a little palette knife trying to. I put the layer down on top and I would drag it down with the palette knife to uh, to get a little, try to get the wood texture. Here I'm using some titanium white and uh, going over it with some more burnt umber mixed with some soft black. So I'm pretty happy with how the wood turned out, so I'm going to go in with the, start with the bird's legs.
before I finished the second talon, I wanted to go in and uh, just give an outline to the bird's body just to have a better idea of how it's going to, you know, stand out on this uh, background. I'm just using titanium white just to get a little of a outline going. I try to do one piece of the bird at a time, so I'm just going and doing the, the breast right now. Just filling it in with titanium white just to uh, fill it in. On the picture there, uh, there are some mild blue feathers uh, right around to, to where the tail comes out. So I'm just trying to get that feel going here, and I'm extending the blue down. This for this blue, I am using a uh, it's called Ink Spot by Folk Art, and I'm also using uh, Parrot Blue by Apple Barrel and uh, Bright Blue also by Apple Barrel. Just mixing them together to try to get the color as close to the original as possible. And the blue jay's tail, the the tip of the tail is a little darker blue than the rest of the tail. It sort of fades up, so that's what I'm trying to accomplish here, getting a little bit darker blues in at the tip and just trying to uh, fold it up in farther up along so it blends in. Now down the tail there are these little black uh, patches I guess you would call them and uh, so that's what I'm trying to do here with the little palette knife to try to mimic that look I really like how the tail turned out but then I had to go You'll see later in the video I had to go and I had to totally change it because uh, when I did the rest of the bird's uh, body, the tail wound up being too small. So, I mean, it looks good right now, but it winds up being too small, so I had to wind up doing it over at the end. I'm using titanium white to just give the... Uh, little hot white highlights at the end of the feathers. Now I'm tracing in the bird's wings and I'm using uh, Night Sky by Americana. Night Sky, this color really closely resembled the, the color of the birds um, you know his his main part of his body in the image so I just went and I just traced the outline of the rest of him in that and then I would go in and fill it fill in with whatever other colors I needed and this uh, doing this by eye was really difficult for this particular bird. I don't know why it was so... I was just having a hard time. Uh, and you can see where the wing 
and the tail winds up uh, totally looking like they don't match. That's why I had to go back and redo that tail. I'm just trying to get the beak, uh, the bird in, in the picture. His beak is open because he's holding some kind of a nut. And uh, I'm not the best with beaks. I'm going to tell you that right now. I, I have a hard time with beaks. So now I'm just filling in uh, with that night sky, just covering up all that green, just to give it a base of the night sky to go in and to put in the details once that dries. I had this paint on pretty thick so I did have to go in and with a hair dryer and dry it all down before I could really move on. Now that it's dry I'm going back in with a little darker colors and then I want to be in too dark so I went back with the night sky and covered that up. I'm giving it another coat of the night sky just to uh, solidify the tone. Along the front of the bird, uh, he has some dark feathers right at the top of the breast. So that's what I'm trying to do now is go in with a little bit of, uh, I, think I, I think I went with the Night Sky and some Beetle Black by Martha Stewart. And I'm using that same coloring to, to go and try to get the, the black highlights of the head in. Now I'm going in with straight beetle black just to really emphasize that black. using black again to darken up the beak area Now I'm going to be going in with some titanium white to highlight the white feathers around the face.
I'm going in with some blue to try to define the the wing muscle there. And then like on the tail, the wing has these little, uh, almost like squares, little blocks of color, different shades of blue and white and black. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm going in with a little square brush just to try to give it the look of these little squares. Putting a little shine on the eye. I actually wound up putting a little bit too much, so I had to go back in a little bit later uh, with some black and take out some of that shine. Now I'm going in between the little blocks of color with the beetle black. It's hard to tell in the in the painting or on the video the colors because it is kind of a dark image. filling in the rest of the little color squares. And going back in with the beetle black to the, separate him a little bit. Here I'm taking some of the shine out of the eye to make it a little bit more realistic. So here's where I'm going to go in and try to fatten out that tail a little bit to make it more size appropriate for the bird. And instead of using the same palette knife, I went in with the with a thin brush and did the little black marks on the tail. So now I'm going in and finishing the second talon. Using burnt umber and some soft black for those talons. Adding a little highlight to the tail. See, so now I'm going to be going in with some lemon yellow, a mix of lemon yellow, burnt umber, some soft black, to uh, and some titanium white to do the little nut that he's holding in his beak. Doing 
doing it a little bit darker on the bottom and adding some titanium white to the top to highlight the light shining off of the nut. And uh, that's about it. I'm going to go in here and give my little signature. And that'll be it for the Blue Jay. I hope you guys like this painting. Thanks for watching. I appreciate, as always, all the positive comments and the new subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, if you're new here and you uh, want to keep up to date with my paintings and everything else I have going on, uh, please like, subscribe, and follow. And uh, here is the original bird. As you can see, it's much more vibrant than what mine turned out. But um, this was this was a really challenging one for me. So I'm just happy I got it to this point. So uh, every painting is a new learning process. So yeah, so I'm, I'm excited to do more. So that's where we're at. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.